Oh, uh, as we now will be uh, talking to a uh, reggae dancer artist, uh, and it goes by the name uh, Blunt Mash. Want to say again, uh, thank you, listeners, uh, for tuning into the Fire Zone. The objective is to always help maintain the legacy and integrity of reggae music. And we do that by placing the artists in the spotlight as they reveal the stories behind the big stories to help understand the culture of reggae music coming from the island of Jamaica. Pleasant good day to you. Wagwan, what's going on? What's going on? How are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm fans of black. Okay, I say thank you so much, uh, Blood Mash, for taking time out of your busy schedule and allowing us to place you in the spotlight as you're about to reveal some of the stories behind your big story. Once again, welcome. Thank you for having me, fans of Black. It's a pleasure. So, as always, uh, it's always interesting to find out uh, the artist, uh, the story that lies behind the artist. Uh, of course, uh, knowing where you're coming from. Place of birth, quite interesting for our listeners. Yeah, uh, I was born in Jubilee Hospital, that's in Kingston, Jamaica. And I grew up in Waterhouse, Kingston 11, and also in Ocheria, Stenton. Thank you so much. Now, growing up in, in, in Jamaica, as a little boy growing up, how did life present it itself? How would you best, you know, I mean, tell your listeners out there treat life treated you in the island of Jamaica? Life, it's all right. You get what I'm saying? Cause growing up as a little youth, you know, we, we, we are not from a rich family or like that. You know that we are from poor family. So things wasn't all great, but things was good at some of the times. So, you know, so we just have to Go to and just handle and just do what we have to do. You get me? So would you best describe yourself that you were born with a golden spoon or you would say that the struggle was real? No, I don't born with a golden no, spoon. I don't born with a gold and the struggle was real. Trust me. You get me? But we just have to survive, you understand? Yeah, it's no better, Rosie. So when you say the struggle was real, let's go into details. Like, of course, we want to understand, do you know I mean, the life of the artist. You said that, of course, growing up in Jamaica, the struggle was real. Give us, share with us some of the experience that you would have gone through as a young man would allow you to make such statements. Yeah, growing up, uh, the struggle was real because, you know, it's suffocation and enough time going to bed without any dinner. Not every time, but most of the time, some of the times, you understand me? Going to school, uh, no lunch money, no I mean, school I mean, doesn't pay. So, you know, it, it's a hard battle and a hard fight, but we fight too and go too, you get me? And what are some of the things that really kept you motivated despite of the struggles that you were going through at the time in Jamaica, but you still pursue, you know what I mean? You kept your head above the water and you still push through and see you here today sharing some of your experience as well. So again, what are some of the things that would have allowed you to bypass the obstacle? Well, most of the things that motivate me mostly is my mom. You get me? Because she grew me without a dad. She's my mom and my dad. You get me? So I have to be there for her. You understand me? So she's my most motivation growing up. You get me? Yeah. She and just take lady. us back in the classroom as well. Uh, what was your attitude, your behavior towards education? And uh, how did you balance the love for music and your classwork? Oh yeah, uh, going to school, we did, we, 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 we love music from, we, we was a little toddler and start listening to music. Uh, I started listening for, uh, to rap music. That, 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 I love rap music ever since I was a kid growing up, you get me? And also dancehall and reggae music, you get me? So yeah, uh, I, I love, I, I just love music. You understand me? I, I know that I was going to be a musician from a tender age. 
because that's what I want to do. And also, otherwise from loving music and doing music, I like to play football. So I was good at playing football and doing music. You understand? Blood mash. We could hear the passion coming from you. The love that you've had for music over the years. Despite of that, how you were able to balance off that love for music and having to do your schoolwork, your assignments, how did you balance the two of them? Well, we, we have to, you know, you get what I'm saying, because we know that uh, when, when we wake up in the morning, if we have money to go to school, if we're going to school that day, we're going to wake up in the morning, go to school, and after we leave school and come home, we're just going to listen to music. We, 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 we're we going to try to build music, uh, do music with my friends. You understand me? So it's, it's just music. I was just always thinking about music and want to do music. You understand me? I, I just love music from a tender age. And that's how I, I really juggle going to school and doing music. When I'm at school, I also do music when I'm at school, in the school class, with my friends, we're doing music, knocking on the benches, knocking on our chest, and making music and just having fun. The name Blunt Mash, how did you come up with it? Uh, the name, uh, I name myself, you know, but before I have the name Blunt Mash, my name was Sanction. Sanction was my name. But uh, the way I used, I used to love rap music a lot because I also can rap. That's what that was my my first music that I really into rapping because I like the American stuff. Even though I'm from Jamaica, you understand. I watch a lot of rap songs, the videos, listen to rap music from America and all of that. So you know, oh, I get the name Blunt in my teens when I was in Jamaica. I, I used to smoke. You understand. So and two, I I I watch the rap, uh, the rap guys them from America rapping, and they always talking about blunts and all of that. You get me? <laughs> so like ah, you know this name. I'm gonna change my name. You know, I'm gonna change it, and I just change it to blunt. I said I'm gonna call myself blunt. Yeah. So that's how I really get the name blunt. No one really give it to me like someone say I'm gonna name you blunt. No, I name myself that. You get me? Yeah. Thank you so much for that. My name is Fonse Black and I'm talking to reggae dancehall artist Blunt Bash. We will be going for a music break and when we come back, the artist is right here to tell us a bit more about the, the song that we are going to be hearing in the background. And that song is called Best Friend by Blunt Mash. Right here on UBC Radio, the sound that binds us together. Mash like that. Think he was a enemy, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. It was a friend, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. Me think it was a enemy, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. It was a friend, me check it out on me best friend. Was a enemy, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. It was a stranger, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. Me think it was a enemy, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. It was a stranger, me check it out on me best friend, me best. We are two friends from a little and a grow, from we are one fearful and a book two. But no me do a one song, I know fi do. Me friend a la creamy and me never know him at all. How much the blow. Now go post, rub up an island and pick a pool or two. But when you dig a hole, make sure you dig two. What the same thing too, that's done to Jesus. You know, send a body in this world you can't trust. Mash! Think it was a enemy, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. This image was a stranger, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. Think it was a enemy, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend. 
it was a stranger. Me check it out and me best friend, me best friend. Them say two friend better than pocket money. So me keep my best friend close to mine. But me want hang me out like close pan line. Them a crab in a barrel, them no want to see you shine. Them rather see you with a dung and beg like blind. So them can have something fit talk all the time. Squeeze them friendship, the old lifeline. The real them friends, they from out of your mind. Think it was a enemy, me check it out and me best friend, me best friend. It was a stranger, me check it out on me best friend, me best friend, me think it was an enemy, me check it out on me Welcome back and of course my name is Vonsa Black. I want to acknowledge all our viewers on Facebook as well. We are talking to record dancer artist Blood Match and the title song in the background is uh, Friend, Best Friend that is by Blood Match. Welcome back again uh, Blood Match, uh, the song. Tell us uh, what was uh, in your mind while uh, putting to that, that song together. What, what were you thinking? Well, that song, you know, it, it, that song is reality, you know, you understand me? Uh, that song mm. is like things that we've been through around people that we say we have as friends, but they're not real. You get what I'm saying? You get me? So that's where that song is really coming from. That, that's where I get my inspiration by doing that song. You understand me? Yeah, well, we call them fake friends, they get me. So we like to be around people that is real, you understand me? For example, I'm going to big up a real friend, pressure them. He's a real friend, you get me? Pressure them and he's the one that also made this interview impossible um, to do, you get me? So I have to shout out, pressure them every time, you get me? Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, um, uh blood mash for that uh now in your song as an artist what is this the the, the message that you always try to carry to allow it uh, to be penetrated through the minds of our younger persons listening to music what is the message that blood mash is always trying to carry through his music well i like to carry good message you know motivation upliftment you understand me and like to do good music i do different varieties of music don't get me wrong, yeah, I do all different types of music, but you have to do good music to educate and uplift people. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, mm. I like to do that as well. You get me? Yeah. And try to teach the youth, the younger generation, the right thing. You understand what I'm saying? Not all of my music are cultural music. You understand me? But you have mm. to do music to balance you understand what i'm saying mm. yeah and if there is a i mean like younger persons out there who are listening to you in this interview during this interview what advice would you say what advice would you give to them as it relates to remaining humble and um being serious towards uh, the craft yeah humbleness as i just said that's one of the most important thing you understand me and never give up. You get me? We have a saying that we say, giving up is not an option. You understand me? Things might take long or take time, but you just have to just humble and have faith and just do what you have to do. You get me? Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, you migrated from Jamaica into uh, the UK. What was that experience like for you, like just coming into the UK from a different culture, having to uh, en encounter, you know, I mean, a change of weather and uh, all that. And, and what did it do to your your your, your musical career? How did it, it brought new changes to you as an artist? Uh, migrating from Jamaica to come to England, that was something good that I was looking forward to as well. Because like you say, how oh, oh, it done for my career. I was looking forward that when I come here, I'm going to be much better and in music and do great. But it's not really like the way that you see it is. You understand me? Because I said you have to put in the work and you have to do what you have to do. It's not just going to happen like that. You get what I'm saying? So mm. we're just doing what we're doing and just trying our best. You get me? Yeah. Absolutely. Now, of course, uh, 
we want to understand your experience whilst coming here. Did you get to perform on sound system at events? And if yes, uh, describe uh, what was the response of the people like here in the UK? Yeah, I get to perform in some events. Uh, one of my main, one of the first main events that I've done, uh, I was uh, performing Luton and that show, uh, a friend of mine named Danny Bless. I don't know if you heard of him, Danny Bless. He's a, he's a mm -hmm. DJ in England as well, a movie star. So he invited me to perform at his show in Luton. And that was a real mm -hmm. good experience for me. And I was there performing. Also, I also performed with my friend there, uh, Nine Frost. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine as well. We do music together. We have uh, a lot of collaboration together with Rob Marley as well. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, that, that experience was really good for me. And, and I perform at other stage shows as well. Yeah, but that one, that one really stand out for me. Yeah, that I perform in Luton uh, with Danny Bless and Raga Rugi and, uh, and also, yeah, uh, can you hear me, yeah? Yes, of course. Uh, Tanto Blacks, Tanto Blacks, similar name to your name. He was the headliner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tanto Blacks, Tanto Blacks was the headliner for that show. Yeah, yeah, so that was a good experience for me to perform with uh, an artist that's big out there, have a huge name. Yeah, so that was good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, I want to acknowledge our viewers on Facebook, uh, live on UBC Radio on Facebook. Thank you so much for uh, viewing this interview. Uh, we, uh, we encourage uh, viewers to share the live stream as well. We are talking to reggae dancer artist uh, Blunt Mash as he reveals some of his story behind his big story to help understand the culture of uh, reggae music. We'll be going for another music break and this time the sound that we're going to be hearing in the background is uh, Hold the Faith, uh, again, by Blunt Mash. All happening right here on UBC Radio, the sound that binds us together. So much, SM stars. You know we're not the bad mind and envious, no man to wear them off. Got from the swatch of your bro, you shall eat bread. Know that, mash. We not for rob, we not for kill, we not for steal, for eat, no farm a meal, know that. Life hard, we are going hold the feet, work for what we want and build, mash. We not for rob, we not for kill, we not for steal, for eat, no farm a meal, know that. Life hard, we are going hold the feet, work for what we want and build, mash. And of you drive, me see your ways down the gutter, cause them a live the life like a shatter. That's why the first thing you know, I said them, I tell you, them no grow up with no father. Simple mean, them don't have no farm a road model and no one to look up to show you get big mama can't talk to you know you get all yourself in the trouble see the straight freeze don't eat now go miss your police and shatters won't kill you know that you drop down in a court when you hear all the judge say life in a prison behind bars you a ball and i say if you know how much you da listen or if you don't, a six foot six, you know say, a straight calf, know that. We not for rob, we not for kill, we not for steal, for eat, no farm or mail, know that. Life hard, we are going holy feet, work for what we want and build. We not for rob, we not for kill, we not for steal, for eat, no farm or mail, know that. Life hard, we are going holy feet, work for what we want and build. Not because we from the ghetto, we can rise, elevation, me I tell you, use Bob Marley. As an example, King of Reggae and he's from the ghetto. Trenchstone Rock, know that? Trenchstone Rock, mush. Oh, me for a little kind of shop. The poor man has sell back juice and chicken back. Oh, pa, my friend, me for papa of a block. And saying I'm fierce, me, I got stuff a shot. Oh, welcome back. My name is Von Black. And uh, of course, we've just heard the song uh, Hold the Faith by uh, Blood Mash. Blood Mash, over to you. This song. Talk to us about that. Well, that song, you know, uh, what he's telling you is that hold the faith. You understand? Just like what I was just talking about, you know? 
Hold your feet. Mm. You understand? Wait your turn. You get me? Yeah, mm -hmm. when it's your time, it's going to be your time. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, man, for real. You see me? You know, for yeah. any, no man for where them have. You understand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. And of course, uh, Africa, America, Caribbean by extension. This is a moment that you all have been waiting for as we now will be placing in the spotlights reggae dancer artist Blood Mash to give us an a cappella. Go for it, mate. So much. This is Blood Mash representing. Know that. Listen. Much like that, SM star, no joke. What is this now? Which song I'm gonna give you? Let me think. Uh... So much SM stars. You know when all the bad mind and envious, no man to wear them off. Yeah, you ready? Yes. Carry on. See me here in my polo. Taping like a skimo. Shit, so camp on me face like Cyclops. Versace shades, mash. Yo, Rolex, what's saying TikTok? So you know we mash. Yo, we not see nothing about NFC. We mash like that. Tell them anywhere we go, we mash. Yo, when we do road, we mash. Girls, them love we cause we must say him blown just for so much. No, that anywhere we go, we must go when we do what we must. Girls, them love we cause we must say him blown just for so much. No, yeah, no, and of course, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, blunt match right here, placing him in the spotlight. Giving us a live performance right here on the Fire Zone UBC Radio. The sound that binds us together. Of course, uh, Blood Match, if there's a promoter out there who just saw that performance, I would like to book you on an event. Uh, what is the best contact to get you on? Uh, I'm on... Uh, you can contact me on Instagram at Blunt Match. Also, Facebook, Blunt Match. Yeah, yeah, and you can they, they can just DM me and, and Instagram blood mash. And if persons want to hear more music coming from you, what are some as a social platform that will get your music on? Uh, I, I got my music and all streaming platforms, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all streaming platforms they can get my music. Uh, music like Circle Wine, Money Bags, All the Feet, Best Friend, Peppery, all type, all, all, all social medias platform. My, my, my songs on all social medias platform. Thank you so much for that. And of course, uh, what can your fans out there expect coming from Blood Mash very soon? What are some of the year? performance you have coming up talk to us about your near your your the, your, your, your performance which is coming up very soon oh yeah when your yeah, fans yeah. expect we, we got coming performance from coming up well. for example uh we we, we on, on the the 8th of june we have a, a performance a big show coming up that's the love life reggae show uh on the 9th of june yeah, yeah, we, we, we got that coming up. So we we, we on the hate, sorry, I, I think it's the hate, the eighth of June. Uh yes. the Love Life Reggae show. Yeah, yeah, we, we got that coming up and it's it's gonna be crazy because I will be there performing. Uh Pressure Dem will be there performing, Avalanche will be there performing. A whole lot of artists will be there performing. So that's going to be something to look forward for. Yeah. And me, myself, Blunt Mash, I will be there performing. Yeah. 
and the love uh, life absolutely and of course what uh, new project that you are currently working on that your fans could expect coming from yourself uh as in music yes uh yeah yeah we got projects uh working on yeah we we, we, we got a lot of projects working on uh songs like uh sometimes it uh What's this one? Because sometimes, sometimes when I'm on the spot, you know, I'm like, <laughs> you get me? Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, we got, we got, we got things working on, man. For, yeah, yeah. We, we got a loads of sound working. But, yeah. Thank you so much. And just before we come to an end of this interview, is there anyone out there you would like to shout out to? Yeah, definitely. After shout out, pressure them. Pressure them. The one that makes this interview possible. I have to give a big, huge shout out to pressure them. Nine Frost, G Money, uh, Rob Marley. Now I mean, I'd like to shout out my kids and my beautiful girl. Yeah. So that's it. And thank you for having me as well. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of- Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Blood Mash. And of course, uh, definitely, uh, Persons down in Coventry will be looking forward in seeing your performance on the 8th of uh, June on the Love Life Reggae Show. And that's yeah. happening in Coventry. Thank you so much for passing through, allowing us to place you in the spotlight, revealing some of your stories behind your big story. UVC Radio, the sound that binds us together. <laughs>